committing fraud to a federal agency, they could perform a cost audit right there. So what's the government's criteria for cost? So the first <coughs> one is that, oh, I should do a dollar sign to me. Um, the, it's reasonable. The government expects to be charged a reasonable amount for the product or service. So as we talked about, um, you know, if I'm giving a dollar eighty-nine bit pen to everybody on my contract, the government's going to look at that as being reasonable because everybody needs some writing instrument. But if I if I buy Mont Blanc pens for everyone at one hundred eighty-nine dollars, they're not going to look at that as reasonable. How does the government decide what's reasonable? It's that this notion of a prudent business person. So think of yourself. If you were running your business. What would you consider to be a reasonable cost? You would probably consider a dollar eighty-nine for big pens for everybody good enough because it performs the function. You wouldn't assume one hundred eighty-nine dollars is fair is reasonable. So that's what drives the uh, government's notion of a reasonable cost. Um, allowability. So the government will only pay for costs that are allowable on, by contract or by regulation. So there are certain things that just flat out aren't. So if this was a federal contract that I was performing here, and I went out at lunch, and I had my drink of choice, which would be a scotch on the rocks, and I came back and charged that to the government, the government would say that's an unallowable cost. By regulation, alcohol is not paid for by the budget. So in that case, it's cut and dry. There are other situations um, where and, and quite frankly, if I was working for a law firm and I went out and had a scotch and charged it to a my commercial customer, no issue with that because it, they have a whole different set of rules on the commercial side. But on the federal side, that doesn't work. Um, and I'll, I'll just give you an example of other types 